Hi there, Terrence coming to you from Neptune Systems again, bringing you a different kind of video this time. This one we're calling a tech tip. We're going to do a series of these ongoing to help you with your Apex and to help you make the most of it, let's just say. First of all, the best thing for you to know is that we have a community forum out there online. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, it's the greatest place for you to go and get tips on how to use your Apex or even help other people out. And you can find that forum at forum.neptunesystems.com. So, what's this tech tip going to be on? Well, let's take it right out of that Neptune Systems community forum from a user called CCC946. Now, CCC946 says, I just set up my skimmer. I did some quick code and it worked, but not sure if it's absolutely correct. I'd like to have the code set up so that when the return pump shuts down, the skimmer will also shut down. Then, when the return pump starts back up, there's a five minute delay before the skimmer starts up. Well, this is a great question. Uh, it happens to come up all the time. Um, first of all, why would uh, this particular user want to do this? Well, when you turn off the return pump in your aquarium, and assuming obviously that you have a sump, uh, the water starts to drain down from above and it starts to fill your sump level up higher. Skimmers are very sensitive to the level of water in your sump and usually will overflow if your, if your sump level goes up. So by delaying your skimmer from coming back on for a number of minutes, your return pump has a chance to, to stabilize the level of uh, water in your sump and then you won't have this overflow problem. So how do we do this? Okay, well the first thing is we're going to go into Apex Fusion for your particular Apex and we're going to do most of our examples in Apex Fusion uh, which is a great way to configure your Apex out in the cloud and most people should be on Apex Fusion by now. So what you're going to do is want to find out what uh, outlet is controlling your skimmer. Hopefully you have it named something like skimmer and you're going to click on the gear to go to the configuration for that uh, particular outlet for that skimmer. Once there, you'll see a big block where all of that crazy, you know, scary code goes down below. It's really not that scary, I assure you. And you're going to want to go down and put this line in the code. And it is, if outlet pump, or whatever it happens to be your uh, outlet name for your return pump, uh, is equal to off, then off. And this statement will basically says, look, when my return pump's off, make sure that my skimmer's off also. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that when our return pump comes back on that our skimmer doesn't come back on immediately. So we add the next statement and the next statement is defer and in this case we put three minutes in there. That means it's going to take three minutes before the skimmer then decides to come back on. This will give my return pump time to bring stability to the water level in my sump and I won't have that overflow. Now we had another member of our forum ask us yet another related skimmer question and that, that user was named ThruStream and he asked, hi, is there any way of getting the Apex to turn the skimmer off for the first 10 minutes once the power has been restored after a power cut? This would be useful uh, when the power comes back on because the water level seems to be too high in the sump and the skimmer overflows. Well, this is another great question. So let's go back to our skimmer outlet configuration and add one more line of code. In this case, we want to add the line that says if power apex, so if the power of the apex is off, then for one minute when it comes back on, you want it to delay this outlet and you say then off. So the statement is if power apex off, 001, then off. I know what you're thinking, that's pretty crazy stuff to me too, I don't really get it, but that's the line you need to put in there and just change 001 to whatever amount of delay you want for when the apex comes back on and you want your skimmer to come back. That's pretty much it for our first tech tip. Again, go out to our, go out to our user forum and uh, check it out. It's at forum.neptunesystems.com. You'll find all sorts of tips and, and help on using your apex if you get stuck. Um, and maybe one day you'll even be able to go out and give help to other users out there. And yourself, you'll be a control freak as well. Thank you very much. See you next time.